Beneath the shimmering surface of the Dead Sea lies a hidden world that scientists are only now beginning to uncover. Its depths hide secrets that could change how we see Earth, life, and the forces that shape our planet. What lies beneath is unlike anything on the surface. Mysterious, powerful, and astonishing. The findings promise to blow minds and rewrite our understanding, but exactly what has been uncovered remains a secret. For now, the strange laboratory at the lowest point on Earth. At the lowest point on Earth lies one of the strangest natural laboratories ever known, the Dead Sea. Spanning Israel, Jordan, and the Palestinian territories, this body of water sits more than 1,400 feet below sea level, making it the lowest exposed land on the planet. The salty water extends another 1,200 feet deep, creating an environment that seems almost alien. For centuries, travelers have floated effortlessly on its surface, amazed by its lifeless beauty. But for scientists, the Dead Sea is much more than a tourist attraction. It is a living laboratory that holds the secrets of Earth's past, present, and future. The Dead Sea is unlike any other place on Earth. It is a terminal lake, which means it has no outlet. Water flows in mainly from the Jordan River, but never leaves, except through evaporation. Because of the region's intense heat, water evaporates faster than new water flows in, leaving behind thick layers of salt and minerals. This process has made the Dead Sea about 10 times saltier than the ocean. It is so salty that fish and plants cannot survive in it, which is why it is called the Dead Sea. Yet this same harsh environment has turned it into a perfect natural experiment for geologists and climate scientists who want to study how extreme conditions shape our planet. Here, nature conducts its own experiments every day. The extreme salinity, the rapid evaporation, and the layers of hot and cold water constantly interact in ways that reveal how water, salt, and temperature behave under pressure. Scientists say the Dead Sea is like a miniature model of ancient oceans that existed millions of years ago. By studying it, they can understand how large salt deposits form deep within Earth's crust and how climate change can dry entire seas over time. To unlock these secrets, teams of researchers from around the world have drilled deep beneath the lake bed. One of the most ambitious projects was carried out by an international group of scientists from Israel, Germany, Switzerland, and the United States. Using special equipment, they drilled more than 1,500 feet below the seafloor, retrieving long cylindrical samples called sediment cores. Each layer of these cores tells a story of floods and droughts, of changing climates and shifting landscapes. Some layers date back tens of thousands of years, others hundreds of thousands. By analyzing them, scientists can reconstruct what the region's environment looked like long before human civilization began. But as scientists continued their exploration, they stumbled upon something unexpected, something buried beneath the thick layers of salt and mud that defied all logic. It was not just ancient sediment or crystallized salt. The evidence hinted at massive hidden structures deep below the lake bed, mysterious formations that no one could fully explain. And as researchers prepared to probe even deeper, they realized that what lay beneath the Dead Sea might challenge everything we thought we knew about our planet's hidden world how salt snow is forming below the water. Deep beneath the shimmering surface of the Dead Sea, scientists found that something remarkable is happening. It's snowing. Not the kind of snow that falls from the sky, but a strange underwater snowfall made entirely of salt. Scientists call it salt snow, and its discovery has completely changed what we know about how salt behaves in nature. This story begins in the early 1980s when human activity shifted the natural balance of the Dead Sea. The Jordan River, the main source feeding the sea, was partially diverted by surrounding countries for agriculture and domestic use. With less fresh water flowing in, evaporation began to dominate. As a result, the salinity of the surface water rose until it nearly matched that of the deeper layers. This change allowed the two layers to mix freely, transforming the Dead Sea from what scientists call meromictic, a lake with permanently separate layers, into holomictic, a lake that overturns yearly. Today, the Dead Sea still forms distinct layers, but the separation lasts only for about eight months during the warmer part of the year. Then, as the weather changes, the layers mix again, stirring up the minerals and salts trapped within. This constant cycle of mixing and settling has turned the lake into one of the most fascinating places on Earth for scientists studying fluid dynamics, the study of how liquids move and interact. 
In 2019, a research team led by Professor Mayberg made a surprising observation. They noticed that during the hot summer months, salt crystals known as halite were forming beneath the surface. Traditionally, halite precipitation occurs in winter when the deeper, colder, and denser waters can no longer hold as much dissolved salt. But now, salt was snowing even during the hottest part of the year. The team discovered that this strange phenomenon was caused by a process known as double diffusion. As the scorching sun heated the upper layers, evaporation increased their salt content. These upper layers became extremely salty, but remained warm, which allowed the salt to stay dissolved. However, small patches of this warm, salty water started to cool and sink, while cooler, less salty water from below rose upward. This delicate dance between temperature and salinity created turbulence in the water, causing the salt to crystallize and fall like underwater snowflakes. Over time, these salt flakes accumulate on the lake bed, forming bright, glistening mounds of halite. Internal waves, small currents, and tiny temperature changes add more complexity, shaping the salt into different forms and sizes. This process continues year-round, turning the Dead Sea into an active salt-producing factory. Scientists now believe that these processes could explain how massive salt structures, known as salt giants, form beneath the Dead Sea. These deposits, stretching for kilometers and reaching over a kilometer in thickness, mirror the kind of enormous salt layers found deep below Earth's crust. Such formations also existed millions of years ago, during an event called the Mycenaean Salinity Crisis, when the Mediterranean Sea nearly dried up, leaving behind enormous salt beds. But the salt giants weren't the only surprise. Deep beneath the sediments, cores revealed evidence that the sea almost disappeared in the past. And that raises troubling questions for our future. The sea that vanished. For years, the Dead Sea has been shrinking before our eyes. But what scientists recently discovered, buried deep beneath its floor, reveals that this is not the first time it has faced such a crisis. In fact, there was a time when the Dead Sea nearly vanished altogether. This discovery not only rewrites the history of this ancient lake, but also paints a haunting picture of our planet's future. An international team of scientists drilled deep into the bed of the Dead Sea to uncover its hidden history. The sediments they retrieved, stretching back about 200,000 years, form the longest environmental record ever collected in the Middle East. Each layer of this core is like a page in Earth's diary, recording floods, droughts, earthquakes, and climate changes that shaped the region. What they found shocked them, clear evidence that the Dead Sea had completely dried up around 125,000 years ago during a warm period between two ice ages. The layers of the core told a dramatic story. In some sections, the researchers found thick bands of crystalline salt, proof that the water had evaporated almost entirely, leaving behind vast salt flats. In other parts, they found pebbly beach deposits showing where the shoreline had once receded. Together, these findings revealed that the lake had nearly disappeared when the region became extremely hot and dry. This was not the result of human interference, but of natural climate shifts. A sobering reminder that nature itself can push environments to their limits. The timing of these events is crucial. The first drying episode occurred about 120,000 years ago, and another one about 10,000 years ago, both during warm intervals similar to the one the Earth is entering now. Climate models predict that if global warming continues at its current pace, the Middle East could soon experience the same level of heat and dryness that caused the Boit Dead Sea to vanish in the past. Stephen Goldstein, a geochemist from Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, explained that today, the Dead Sea is already shrinking rapidly because humans are diverting its freshwater sources for agriculture and urban use. The evidence it has actually dried down in the past without any human intervention means that its sources may stop running again, he said. If that happens, the Dead Sea could once more retreat into a lifeless salt plain, a terrifying glimpse of what climate change might bring. The Dead Sea is more than just a shrinking lake. It is a living record of Earth's climate struggles, a reflection of both nature's power and human vulnerability. Its past disappearance stands as a warning that even the mightiest natural wonders can collapse when the balance tips too far. And yet, the story doesn't end there. Beneath its shimmering surface, the Dead Sea is changing once again. Sinkholes are opening, fresh springs are rising, 
and the very ground beneath nearby towns is shifting in ways scientists are only beginning to understand. Silent crises below the crumbling ground. As the sea's water level drops by nearly a meter each year, the ground around it is literally collapsing, and deep below the surface, fresh water is seeping into the salty depths, rewriting everything scientists thought they knew about this ancient landscape. The rapid decline of the Dead Sea is not just a visual tragedy, it is a geological emergency. As surrounding countries divert water from the Jordan River and nearby aquifers, the inflow of fresh water that once sustained the Dead Sea has nearly vanished. With less water entering, the salty lake shrinks and evaporates, leaving behind thick layers of salt beneath its shores. When underground fresh water from rainfall or nearby sources flows through these salt layers, it dissolves them, creating large underground voids. Eventually, the ground above these empty pockets collapses, forming massive sinkholes. Over the past few decades, thousands of sinkholes have opened up around the Dead Sea's shores, swallowing roads, date farms, and entire stretches of land without warning. Once bustling tourist spots now stand abandoned, surrounded by cracked earth and deep pits that appear overnight. Scientists call this land subsidence, but for the people who live nearby, it feels like the ground itself has turned against them. At the same time, researchers from Ben Gurion University of the Negev have discovered something equally astonishing. Deep, hidden springs of fresh water rising from beneath the Dead Sea. These springs, some stretching hundreds of meters long and up to 30 meters deep, emerged through large craters on the sea floor. For decades, people noticed faint ripples on the surface of the lake, but never realized their true source lay deep below. Now, Advanced underwater exploration has revealed entire systems of freshwater channels feeding into the hypersaline environment from beneath. These springs are not only reshaping the chemical balance of the Dead Sea, but also dissolving the salt deposits below, contributing to the instability of the lake bed. As the fresh water flows upward, it carves new paths through the salt layers, slowly eroding them from within. This makes the already fragile ground even weaker and accelerates the formation of sinkholes along the shore. But the discovery of these springs has also led to an unexpected revelation. Around their fissures, scientists found carpets of tiny microorganisms, life thriving in a place once thought entirely dead. Dr. Danny Ionescu from the Max Planck Institute of Marine Microbiology reported that these microbial communities include species never before seen in such extreme conditions. They form colorful mats on the seafloor, feeding on minerals and chemical energy in the water, proving that even the harshest environments can harbor life. The coexistence of collapse and creation beneath the Dead Sea tells a powerful story. While parts of the region crumble into voids, new forms of life are emerging in secret underwater oases. Yet these same forces of erosion and renewal also serve as a warning. The geological mechanisms causing the Dead Sea's sinkholes, the loss of fresh water, the shifting salt layers, the dissolving earth, are not unique to this region. They echo the dangers faced by coastal and low-lying areas around the world as climate change and human activity disrupt delicate natural balances. And beyond these immediate hazards, something far larger is unfolding. The same processes now reshaping the Dead Sea Basin may soon appear in other parts of the planet, hidden beneath the waves, I, oh, 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 waves, waiting to reveal their power in a warming world. The Dead Sea's warning. The Dead Sea is more than a lake. It is a mirror reflecting both the power of nature and the consequences of human activity. The combination of ongoing salt deposition beneath its surface and a rapidly shrinking water level sends a clear warning. Terminal lakes like the Dead Sea are fragile, and warming climates could push them toward collapse. Water scarcity in the region has long been recognized as a potential source of conflict. Reports from the United Nations and other bodies have repeatedly flagged water as a flashpoint for tension in the Middle East. Historically, Egypt and Jordan have stated that they would only consider war over water resources. The Dead Sea itself is shrinking because the Jordan River, its main inflow, is heavily diverted for agriculture and domestic use. As Professor Emmy Ito from the University of Minnesota points out, the lake's level is dropping by three to five feet each year. If past warm periods before the last ice age are any guide, the region will continue to become hotter and drier under climate change, compounding the pressure on both the lake and the millions of people who rely on its surrounding resources. The Dead Sea is also a bay. 
geological hotspot. Its basin lies along a tectonic plate boundary, similar to California's San Andreas Fault. Sediment cores drilled from the lake bed reveal a detailed history of earthquakes, recorded as twisted and deformed layers in the sediments. By precisely dating these layers, scientists hope to reconstruct a history of seismic activity that stretches from ancient times to the present. This work could even shed light on long-debated questions, such as whether earthquakes played a role in biblical events like the collapse of Jericho's walls. Understanding these risks is critical as the shifting geology beneath the lake continues to influence the stability of the surrounding land. This decade-long research effort is a truly international collaboration. Funding came from national science foundations and institutes across the participating countries, including the U.S. National Science Foundation. Key researchers include Stephen Goldstein, Zvi Ben Avraham, and Mordecai Stein. With contributions from scientists at institutions such as the GFZ German Research Center for Geosciences, Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, and the University of Minnesota. The team also hopes to involve researchers from Palestine and Jordan to further expand the scope of this important study. The Dead Sea region supports tens of millions of people, spanning Israel, Jordan, and the Palestinian territories. As water stress intensifies, the geology beneath their feet is shifting in ways that threaten infrastructure, livelihoods, and ecosystems. The lake's shrinking is not just an environmental concern, it is a human one. The lessons from its past and present are clear. Extreme environments are vulnerable, and human activity can accelerate natural processes to dangerous levels. But as we look ahead, one final astonishing discovery lies beneath the Dead Sea and it may reshape our understanding of life, resilience, and the very limits of what survives in the harshest corners of our planet. What's still under the Dead Sea? Recent explorations have also uncovered previously unknown microbial communities thriving in extreme conditions. These tiny organisms live around deep freshwater springs that seep through the hypersaline lake bed, feeding on minerals and chemical energy in an environment that would seem completely inhospitable to life. Even in places buried under thick layers of salt, where shifting sediments and high salinity would normally prevent survival, life persists in remarkable ways. These discoveries are opening an entirely new frontier for biology, geology, and climate science. The Dead Sea's extreme environment makes it a natural laboratory for studying survival under conditions that challenge almost every known life form. Microbes must endure crushing salinity, low oxygen, chemical extremes, and shifting geological layers that periodically bury or expose them. Some adapt and flourish, forming unique ecosystems that could provide clues about life on early Earth or even on other planets. Others fail, leaving fossilized traces that reveal which strategies worked over millennia. Understanding these extremes also informs geologists about how subsurface layers behave, how salt giants evolve, and how sudden shifts in water or earthquakes could reshape the basin. Despite decades of research, many mysteries remain. The full structure of the enormous salt deposits beneath the Dead Sea is still unknown. Scientists are only beginning to understand how these layers form, sink, and interact with fresh water intrusions from springs. Questions about their long-term stability linger. Will they collapse, create massive sinkholes, or shift in ways that threaten the surrounding region? As the lake continues to shrink and conditions change, the subsurface may evolve in unpredictable ways, offering both risks and opportunities for discovery. Beyond geology and biology, the Dead Sea is a living archive of Earth's history. Each layer of sediment, each deposit of salt, and each surviving microorganism tells a story about the planet's climate water cycles, and seismic activity. It is a record keeper of events that span hundreds of thousands of years, capturing moments of drying, flooding, earthquakes, and environmental extremes. At the same time, it acts as a test bed for the future, showing how ecosystems might respond to climate change and human impact. The Dead Sea reminds us that even in the harshest environments, life persists, sediments preserve history, and natural processes continue to unfold in ways both beautiful and dangerous. It is a place where the past, present, and future intersect, offering scientists the chance to witness evolution, adaptation, and geological change in real time. Outro. 
And the greatest question remains, if the Dead Sea is telling us this much now, what else might we uncover when we push deeper? What are your thoughts on it? Please share in the comments.